Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Technical Turbo. So in today's session and in today's video, we will talk about how to install MySQL on CentOS 7 machine. So as we know that we required a Linux machine for perform this and uh, this demo, right? Okay. Let me show you my screen, you know, my, you know, this is my instance. So you can go. Let me show you what we have. It is a red. Okay. So as you can see uh, in the screen that it is a CentOS Linux 7 machine. Okay. So as I said, we have to install, we're going to install MySQL. So for that, what we need to do, we go to Chrome and uh, with the chrome you have to just type mysql so once you will type mysql you will see this screen okay you will just click here and then go to downloads once you go to download the in the last is a mysql community downloads so as we know that CentOS 7 machine is supported YAM repositories. We click, click on YAM repository. So here you can see multiple version packages like Oracle Linux 9, Oracle Linux 8, 7. So we are using uh, CentOS 7. So we have to download this one. We click on download. It will ask you to sign in. But we don't need to shine in because we are going to use community version. So this no thanks. You have to click here. Once you will click here, it will download the package on your host machine or whatever. Like in my case, it is a Windows. So I don't want to do that. I want to directly download it on my Linux machine. For that, I have to just click right click, copy link address. You copy here, go to your this as we know there is a one command wget which is used to download a packages so you download the pack package now we want to check what is inside this package so rpm is nothing rpm is a bundle where uh, there is multiple files scripts and some packages are included in in one rpm package okay so let me see what is inside this rpm okay we run this command and run this command. okay as you can see there are some gpc key and some repositories so we're going to install this with the command as you wear rpm rpm is used to install any particular package you install it it install in your system successfully okay after you install now it did not install your mysql it's just only install a uh, repository of mysql okay now how are we going to install mysql we run a command yum install mysql hyphen server it will ask you it will check okay it will download it it take one minute let me um, you know pause the video for a minute Till it will download otherwise video length will be big so as you can see so this is the packages so which is need to be downloaded and installed we press y and it will install all the packages we press y and y it's uploading all gpg key of mysql it's taking it will install uh, again it take or five minutes so let me pause the video for a second till it will install yeah we we can wait for for a minute okay I uh, will be back once the installation is done yeah we can see as you can see the default database of default DB is MariaDB in CentOS 7 but we replace it with MySQL okay so after that now let's check service of mysql mysql d you can see the service is disabled okay 
So now I want to start it. MySQL start MySQLD. So it got started as you let me. Yep. Now let's check the same status. Wow, great. So as we know that when you install any server, so you have like a database, you have web interface, uh, any application. So first time when you log in on that machine, that particular application, your database, you require a particular username and password. So we should have a password for MySQL. So when you start a service of MySQL, it create a one-time password for you for logging on your MySQL. So that information of that password inside your log file. How can we get it? Let me show you. Grab PAWSW password. As you know, where log and it is MySQL log file. As you can see, this is our password. Okay. So what? So now you want to? You have a password. You know that what is the log file. So now let's start uh, configuring your MySQL. MySQL secure installation. Then it's asking what is your root password. So we will copy this and paste here. It's saying what is your new password. I'm typing my new password. You can type your. It's saying oh you uh, change the password for root. Press Y. And yeah, I said yes. So I said okay. I'm typing the same password. Okay, now it's saying that do you wish to continue with the password provided? I said yes. And do you want to remove anonymous users? So security purpose we can remove it. And do you this remotely? Yeah, we can might be we need uh, so make a connection for another server for this server. Remove a test database and access it. Yep. Yeah. We don't need to do any testing for here. Yeah. Do you want to privilege the tab tables? Yes. We want. Okay. So we're done. Now let's log in. Okay. Now we can recommend MySQL hyphen u root and p. It's asking me password. Beam the moon one two three. Wow, great! Congratulations, you log in on your MySQL server. Now you want to have more detail about let's have some basic commands to see. So we can run a command show databases. Okay, this is the pre installed database in your system. And now I want to use, for example, let me use MySQL. Okay, I'm using it. So it's run a command. Use is the command to use uh, any database. You run a use and MySQL. And then I'm logging inside. Let me clear the screen. Now I'm show show tables. I just want to see that what are the tables inside my MySQL database. Wow, here are the tables. These are the default tables you will get in your MySQL, um, you know, in your MySQL database. So this is just a basic information about how to install MySQL and I run a few commands, right? I run a few commands to so that you can have a basic idea how can you run MySQL. So with this I'm done with my video and for today demo. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the bell button to get latest notification so that you will get latest videos from our channel. Thanks for watching our channel.